guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews, and today we are gonna talk about the Proform Pro 9000. Now, if you are interested in a commercial style treadmill, but you realize the price point is just kind of astronomical, then I think this will be a good treadmill to check out because it has a lot of specs, a lot of features that you would find with a commercial treadmill, but at a way better price point. After dozens and dozens of testings of many, many treadmills, I can honestly say that this might be up there with some of my favorites, things like the Nordic Track 1750, the Soul F85 or the Peloton Tread. Now, right away when I walked up to this treadmill, I noticed the massive 22 inch touchscreen. Now, overall, I think that this isn't the most aesthetically pleasing treadmill out there. I much prefer the newer design of the Nordic Track 1750 or the Peloton Tread. However, I do think that the 22 inch touchscreen adds a little bit more modern touch. And for that aspect, it's not the worst treadmill that I've seen, but overall not my favorite, aesthetically speaking. Now, one thing that I think is kind of unique about this treadmill is that it comes with iFit programming, but not only does it come with iFit programming, but it also has preset workouts within the treadmill. To be honest, this is probably the first treadmill I've reviewed that has the smart features of instructor-led classes while also boasting some programming on the treadmill itself. When you purchase the Proform Pro 9000, you're actually gonna receive a year free of iFit programming. Now this is a $400 value. And if you don't wanna continue on with the iFit programming after that year of free programming, you can go ahead and just cancel it and use the programming that's on the treadmill that's available to you already. The programming that comes on the treadmill is very basic. It has your incline, it has some fart flick training, it's got some hills, pretty basic standard training that you would find on most other treadmills. But again, I love the aspect that you can do either the iFit programming or the training on the treadmill. Now, before we talk about more specifics of the Proform Pro 9000, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you continue to see me and all things fitness that we have coming your way. Also, if you want to go ahead and purchase this treadmill, use the link below the like button to do so. When you use those links, it does give us a small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. We greatly appreciate when you use those links. Lastly, this treadmill was sent to us by the company. It doesn't change what I'm going to say. I'll always be transparent and honest about what I actually think about the product. So let's talk more about the Proform Pro 9000. The belt deck size on this treadmill is a 60 by 20 inch. Now that's pretty big. Sometimes we see a 60 by 22 inch belt deck size, but overall, this is a great size deck. Now I wouldn't recommend anything lower than a 55 inch deck size for a quality treadmill. So this meets industry standard, but also my standard to be considered for a good quality running treadmill. With this treadmill, it comes with what is called Rebound Pro cushioning. So essentially it's just gonna take away the hard impact on the deck that you would find with some other treadmills. It is a little bit more cushioned. It's probably up there with the Nordic Track 1750 in terms of cushioning for a belt deck. There are better treadmills out there like the X22i from Nordic Track that has an even more cushioned belt deck, but that treadmill costs $3,000. So for the price point at the Proform Pro 9000, I think it does a really good job of having a nice sturdy cushioned belt deck. This treadmill comes with one of the larger motor sizes that I see for a non-commercial treadmill at a 3.6 CHP. Now 3.0 is what we see a lot with a treadmill around this price point. So the fact that it is incorporated a 3.6 CHP motor size is really great. It's gonna allow you to do any sort of running that you throw at it, whether that's sprinting, hills, incline, decline training, the motor size can handle it on this treadmill. Now, like I just said, it does have an incline and a decline feature. So it actually has a 3% decline, which is something we don't see a lot with treadmills at this price point. It also has a 12% incline grade. There's some treadmills that go up to 15%, but overall you're gonna get a great workout with that 12% incline grade. With this treadmill, you have speeds of zero up to 12 miles per hour. Now that is plenty fast. To give you context, elite runners usually run a 12 mile per hour pace at a 100 or 200 meter race. Some elite runners run that 400 meter race at a 12 mile per hour pace, which is just insane to me. So for us, the average day, average show runner, 12 miles per hour is plenty fast. In terms of the overall quietness of the treadmill, it wasn't the most quiet treadmill that I have found. Obviously you're gonna have some noise as you're running on that belt deck. You're gonna always hear that kind of like impact that you find with your foot on the deck. 
But in terms of the machine itself, I found it to be really quiet. There wasn't any sort of excess noise as I was moving to incline or decline, or if I was ramping up speeds. So overall, I would say definitely not the loudest machine out there. And I would feel comfortable running on my garage as my kids are sleeping in the house. Now, one thing to kind of call out, and there was a lot of customers online that mentioned this, is the Wi-Fi capabilities were kind of subpar. So if you don't live in a place with a strong Wi-Fi connection, it is gonna be something to consider because there were a lot of trouble connecting the Wi-Fi with the machine to wherever you were. So make sure if you purchase this machine, you have a strong Wi-Fi connection so that you won't have any sort of frustrating trouble getting that Wi-Fi connectivity going. In terms of conveniences, this does come with a cool air fan. I don't know necessarily what cool air means. I felt like it was a pretty standard treadmill fan. I wasn't like overly impressed. I wasn't like, dear God, turn off the fan. It's too cold in here. It also comes with dual water bottle holders that were pretty large. So you're able to fit all of your Stanley cups on this treadmill. There's also a little display shelf that you're able to put your phone. I don't know if that was the intended purpose for this shelf, but just remember if you do put your phone on that shelf, it is gonna block the screen from view. Now, again, it's a 22 inch screen, so you're not gonna block the whole thing but a little bit of it might be blocked. The 9,000 weighs 263 pounds, so definitely on the heavier side of treadmills that we see. I would definitely recommend if you are assembling this yourself to go ahead, have a second person available to help. There are a couple aspects to this machine where somebody needs to be holding the screen, the other person needs to be threading the wire through the arm. So it's just not feasible for one person to be able to do this. Make sure you grab a buddy and some beers, whatever you wanna do in order to assemble this machine. With a weight capacity of 300 pounds, this isn't the highest weight capacity that we see, but overall a decent weight capacity. I think I was a little surprised that there wasn't a higher weight capacity considering that it weighs 263 pounds, but I think that is due to the big motor size that it has just making the treadmill a little heavier. However, this was very solid, very steady. I did notice any sort of shakiness or unsteadiness, even at higher speeds. The footprint on this machine is pretty large at 77 inches long, 39 and a half inches wide, and 60 inches high. It does have the ability to fold up so it can be moved from room to room. A unique feature about this that I haven't seen a lot of other treadmills have, I think some of the sold treadmills have incorporated this, but they have wheels on the front and on the back. So whether you want to push or pull the machine around, you have the ability to be able to do that. There are financing options available through TD Fit Loan. You can find more information on the Proform Pro website about that if financing is something that you want to look into. One thing to remember though, is that this machine is often on back order. So that doesn't necessarily deter me. I think you just need to plan accordingly and make sure you know it might take a little bit more time for your machine to arrive. If you want to learn more about this treadmill, we have a full written review on our website. We'll go ahead and place the link below the like button in order for you to check that out. Also, I know I keep comparing this treadmill to the Nora Track 1750, but I mean, they are so similar in a lot of ways. So if you want to see us do a comparison to the Nora Track 1750 and this Proform Pro 9000, leave a comment below. Or if there is another treadmill you want us to compare it to, let us know in the comments. This has been Lindsay with Broad Gym Reviews, and we'll see you back here next time.